Hi, in this video, we'll be looking at uh, App Stylist for Windows Forms. Uh, let's fire it up and see uh, how we can do uh, styling in Windows Forms. I have App Stylist for Windows Forms here. Where you can locate that in the installation is uh, go to Infraj6, go to App Stylist for .NET, and then you'll see uh, App Stylist for Windows Forms. So let me just fire it up. I'm using 8.3. So what we have here is uh, Infraj6 App Stylist for Windows Forms. Uh, you can start a new library by creating a new library or you can open uh, by selecting one of these which you have already opened or you can click on open and open a new library. You can create a new, new library by clicking on create new library. This particular new style library wizard is really important. So if you do start from existing library means that you already have an infra style library. Uh, that means that you have an ISL file uh, either from Infragistics or uh, somebody in the company has created one company specific ISL and that uh, that you are opening and changing or, or modifying something uh, for the specific reason. Start from a template is also uh, pretty fantastic. You can uh, select some of the pellets and uh, change the color themes and all that. And if you think you are a pro and you don't remember how long you've been using Infra6 uh, style library, go for a blank library and a blank library gives you a lot of features. We will go through each of them and uh, see what are the different options. So let's uh, start with a start from an existing library. I say next. And you can have your uh, folder selected here uh, if you have company specific style libraries. Uh, what we have is we pointed it to our style li libraries already. So uh, some of my favorite ones are uh, red black which is more like a black and white theme. Uh, red planet which is similar to red black but has a little more uh, uh, red colors on there. Office 2007 black, uh, Office 2007 blue, depends on, on which one you like. So uh, let's select, uh, let's say, Red Planet ISL and uh, click on finish. So this one shows you all the controls that are possibly there. So uh, this one is basically a virtual uh, way of seeing what the control will look like uh, when you change the, uh, change the look and feel. So what I'm doing is I'm just moving my mouse over certain areas and you can see if I do that, uh, my mouse has been followed by a little tooltip that is uh, any anytime popping up and showing me uh, C for you know, ultra grid, one for grid cell, uh, two for grid row, and three for grid control area. If I have an hierarchical grid, you can see these expansion indicators. So if I see here, it says C as uh, ultra grid, one as expansion indicator, two as row, and three as control area, and all that. You want to see different way of uh, showing this grid is. Uh, you can go to the canvas option, go to card view and you would be seeing the grid in a complete uh, uh, different way uh, that we call it as a card view. You can go for a flat grid, you can go for a hierarchical grid, you can also uh, look at the outlook group by. Uh, so if I move my mouse around, uh, you can see I have two as grid rows. So if I press two on my, uh, on my keyboard, I get a properties window here in which I can change things. So uh, here we have set it to an image, so you can see uh, it already shows me an image with uh, with the icon here. If I say no file on the image and if I say normal, and then uh, I have three options, I have solid, I have a gradient, I have a hatch. So if I want a solid color on the grid, uh, what I will do is I'll just set a little uh, subtle color which is a little yellowish. You can see my grid has changed the uh, selected, uh, the normal color. You can change the selected color, hot track, the active row and uh, so on and so forth. I just changed one thing and definitely I want to show you more stuff but uh, let's uh, try and uh, look at the other controls here. So we have inbox controls, we have miscellaneous controls, uh, navigation controls, uh, ribbon controls. Now when you go to the ribbon you would, you would find the ribbon to be looking a little weird. So there is a specific uh, active style which we call it as a ribbon style set. So uh, this particular style theme has a specific style for a ribbon. So you can say a ribbon style and then you would see the ribbon coming up a little better than how it was before. So uh, please remember that there are other active styles here and you can anytime create X number of active, active styles by clicking on add. If you don't like certain active styles you can, you can click on remove. You can click on manage active styles. There is a lot of other things that you can do in Infra6 uh, app stylist that we might cover in uh, advanced section of this one. But uh, let's go back and uh, check out what other options do we have. So if I create, click on create new library, I don't want to uh, save the changes that I did. I click on start from a template this time and I say next. 
and this time what happens is it gives me another uh, another section where I have to select a template so there is a place where you can have all the templates stored so you have a place you can change the template folder and you can uh, have a other list of templates here so uh, let's go with glassy and you can see I have a pillet selection here now this is a different way of doing things uh, let me uh, show you how this thing works in so let me select one of the pillets pillet 25 which is more towards the blue brown so uh, here we have uh, default hot track selected and four color what I like for the foreground color is uh, maybe this one so I'll drag drop the color and for the selected I think I'll go uh, well I don't like any of these colors for selected so what I do is I can scroll up and get some other color from somewhere else and uh, maybe selected is this is good for selected and this is good for hot track and uh, this is good for the default so the moment I do that you can see I have ch things changing up here my explorer bar my inbox controls will show me the changes here so if, just for the sake of understanding it again uh, let me uh, do that again for you so let's get another color Let, let's get a bluish color on the default so I'll drop a bluish color on the default and you can see my my glassy effect becomes a little more on the bluish side so uh, this is a very nice way of selecting from a pillet uh, generally I would prefer people to select from one of the pillets it has uh, four combination of colors uh, which go good with each other but if you really don't like that you can select another color from another pillet uh, I'll click on finish and uh, this time you will see uh, let me directly jump into the grid section and you can see I have the grid showing up a little bit on the different way so uh, you can see I have the same grid uh, showing me uh, in a different more uh, bluish uh, fashion again uh, you have this uh, you have the same uh, way of working from uh, from this point onwards you can select colors so if I uh, press 2 on my uh, uh, on my keyboard I have uh, the grid row and uh, if I go to hot track I can change the way uh, the the rope looks like in a hot track uh, let me go back to the start and show you the last and the uh, little more crazy option of doing it let me not save this one uh, let me go for a blank library and the moment I do that I've selected a blank library it will ask me another question saying turn off the system themes so if you say no leave the system themes on it will come with a default system theme if you say yes turn off the system theme it will come with a complete flat no look uh, uh, no look grid or no look uh, uh, UI so uh, what I would do is I'll just turn it off and uh, you would see my grid with absolute zero colors I mean these are some of the most uh, basic colors that you would you, you would imagine so in this I, I can I can show you a couple of nice uh, options same thing I'll do press 2 again on the grid row uh, on a normal uh, non selected uh, grid row I want a solid color of let's say a little yellow so my whole grid becomes yellow and then on a selected row I want a gradient between uh, let's say a little bit on the red side and a little darker on the red side and uh, I would like to have a, a vertical bump uh, for this one so if I have a uh, if I have a row selected so if I select a row you can see I have the same color coming up uh, just for the benefit of uh, you know proving it proving the fact I'll just change the color and you can see I have uh, I have changed the uh, selected row color uh, let me go back to the original color that I had selected previously uh, which was a little better uh, sometimes you just do something and you like the color so I mean I, I like this color the way it has come so what you can also do is you can convert that into a resource so there is a button down here called as convert to resource you can click on that button and say okay I have a new name here so let me uh, put that as uh, my row color and I'll just say okay on that and the moment you do that you have a color selection here uh, it will get rid of all the uh, properties that you had set here but it will move it to uh, move it to, uh, to a resource so uh, what you can also do is you can move uh, to your header and say okay my grid uh, caption area or my grid caption so you can press one on my keyboard and I say okay I want to get the same resource I had so my grid caption becomes the same color so this is something you can keep doing uh, uh, for a lot of things uh, and uh, okay so let's go back to the grid and uh, let me click on 2 again and let me click on hot track and uh, for hot track I would like to have a gradient which is uh, a little more on the uh, red side and uh, let me have a, a vertical bump here again 
and uh, this time let's see how it looks like so i have a hot track that looks a little more hot than the uh, selected row so i have the selected row coming up in a different way and my hot track coming up in a different way so uh, you can keep changing uh, these things and ultimately when you are done doing all these i haven't done too many changes here but uh, these are these are the uh, these are the basic ways you can change things so uh, let me uh, just leave this thing as it is and let me just go to file and say uh, save style library as now assuming that uh, you have done all the changes that that you would wish to do uh, in in your in your theme and let me have it in my style and uh, click on save when i do that i have this entire style library saved on my desktop let me uh, close my window and uh, you have my my style in here now i have created a very very simple application right now um, it's called as windows application for app stylist now what i have done is uh, i have uh, simply created a form and in the form i have just thrown up a simple grid uh, for the demo purpose and the and the grid is set to the northwind database uh, uh, for the customer table that's it i mean i, I have i really haven't done uh, anything in this one so uh, uh, what i'll do is i'll show you how to get uh, get this thing working with uh, with visual studio 2008 so take the my style and drop it onto your project folder and you can organize it put it into a better folder you can create a style folder and then uh, you know uh, put that style folder in the in in the proper path where you associate that and all that so uh, this is just for the demo purpose as i said so i'll have the my style.isl file here now uh, you need to have this file uh, into your bin folder Uh, any time you compile it and because it will be expecting that uh, that folder there so what i'll do is i'll say uh, uh, copy it every time uh, you you compile it so it will do that needful to put it in the bin folder whenever i compile it so this is done uh, the second step is you need to write just one line of code so i'll go to my form load method type uh, infogestics dot windows dot application styling dot style manager dot load and i'll pass in my file name i don't want to have any uh, spell mistakes here it's a very simple uh, name my style dot isl and uh, that's it so i'll just uh, fire it and uh, see if my style was applied so uh, here i have the same grid i have my hot tracking i get my active row i have my uh, covering uh, color i have my header here so you can see i am basically you know uh, applying a style uh, not doing much of a coding and you can any time uh, click the style uh, open it in in your app stylist so uh, that's it for now uh, in this video i have uh, a plan to create another video for the advanced settings so the moment i do that i'll post it online again uh, thanks for being with us uh, uh, looking at the demo i appreciate the time Thank you. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.